friends here? Yeah, of course. Russell Adler is in your Washington, D.C. black site. The subterranean one that went into operation almost three years ago. D.C. black site? There are blueprints as well. It is located underneath Capitol Station. I assume you're aware of this. I see. Well, it includes a small maximum security wing. That is where you'll find your prize. We need a game plan. You in, right? I wouldn't be sitting here if I wasn't. I'll take that. Newman. Felix. I need a way into that black site. I'm still investigating vulnerabilities. Good man. Let me know when you got something, okay? I want to see what Felix is up to in the ops room. Case. The guild took me in as a child, an orphan on the streets of Morocco. They became my family and provided a vision for what I could become, a weapon. I was happy to protect them, to kill for them. Until one day they betrayed my trust. That was it. Someone died because of me, undeservedly. That's all I feel like saying about that. Not many rumors in Avalon get past me. One involved this group you're after. Supposedly, the Pantheon is in bed with one of the factions, but I don't know who. Adler thought it might be the Guild, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Whoever it is, maybe it'll be clear in time. Sure.
Ah. If you are looking for your camera, I'm afraid you've come to the right place. My apologies for not informing you in advance. Just a few modifications. Primarily, the addition of a miniaturized RF transmitter and, of course, a more powerful battery. It won't last forever, but it should be sufficient for our purposes. Is that my tape recorder? Oh, this. Fortunately, it contains the exact electric condenser microphone I need. I found it in that pile over in the corner. You mean my stuff? Because, my friend, I do not intend to get these hands dirty during our trip abroad. I can, however, by means of this camera, provide an extra pair of eyes and ears. No. It is a work in progress. My reputation has preceded me. <laughs> I can assure you my journey has taken many unexpected and, dare I say, unpredictable turns. I am quite content without a gun in hand. Sounds foolish to me. A person with nothing to lose has nothing to protect. <laughs> Oh, so many fascinating things. The information your agency keeps on foreign assets is remarkable. Take our own Savati Duma, for example. Truly riveting material. <laughs> and I believe you have a flair for the dramatic. They have nothing on me. What did you find? Perhaps some other time. Yes, yes, yes. You also quite the curiosity, aren't you? CIA assassination training. Ooh. No doubt. You and Miss Duma will enjoy trading grim tales over coffee. Hmm. Maybe I underestimated you. Now, if you don't mind, I must delay no further. Marshal expects a way into that black site, and I shall not disappoint. A branch of the DC tunnel system houses the black site, which according to the schematics that I, um, borrowed, has an entrance directly beneath Capitol Station. The black site holding Adler is secured by a retinal scan. We won't have access. At least not anymore. We have an opportunity, though, if we move fast. This Saturday night, the station is hosting a political event. Take it, Felix. Interestingly, one of the event's attendees, a Senator Jack McKinna, has security clearance to the black site. We only need a high-resolution image of his eyes to get past the retinal scanner. I'm working on something for that. So we're gonna show up to this fundraiser, get what we need from the Senator, then grab Adler from the black site before anyone knows what's happened. Sounds simple enough. Don't you think? Camera 
actually works. Sometimes I surprise even myself. I just hope Seb and Case can get the retinal scan. You're going through a lot of trouble to rescue this Adler fellow. You're telling me. Image received on our end, Case. Audio's coming in clean. Ball is yours. You're stepping into my world now, Case. Or should I say Jess Burke? Photojournalist for the Washington Telegraph. Don't make any waves. You'll get through security, no problem. Thank you. Keep moving, please. Things are starting to wrap up in there, just so you know. Enjoy. Have a good night. Hi, I was just on my way out. I don't know why you're here exactly, but you need to be very, very careful. Langley has assembled a team to track the three of you down, and they may even have eyes here tonight. If you are spotted, forget about suspension. Livingston will literally bury you alive. So it's great to see you. We'll catch up soon. Keep with the plan. Fine, Seth. There you are. Come join me at table 14. Take a seat. Do I look the part? Just another business tycoon's trophy wife. The senator's on stage now. Use your camera to get a better look. See the man speaking to Governor Clinton? Say hello to Senator McKenna. Put that camera to good use, Case. The senator isn't giving interviews tonight, and he doesn't go anywhere without his security detail. So the easy option is off the menu. Here, take this. I've done some scouting, marked a few leads that could help get him isolated and get you close enough to do the retinal scan. Take your pick. Got any questions? Now's the time to ask. I'll tell you what I can. When the senator arrived, the waiter passed him a note. Whatever's on it put McKenna in a real bad mood. He crumbled the note and shoved it in his coat pocket right before he checked in. If we get our hands on that note, I bet we could use whatever's on it to our advantage. He's what you Americans would call a fixer. Cleans up messes for one of New York City's five families. I've done work for him in the past. He's been surveilling the senator since I got here. Not in a friendly way. Maybe you can find out why. We come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Senator McKenna seems to be having domestic troubles. Had a fight with his wife when he got here. Lots of smiling through gritted teeth. She stormed off. Hasn't spoken to him since. Just been drowning her troubles at the bar. Maybe you should lend her a sympathetic ear. The floor is yours, Jess Burke. One more, please. Oh, a journalist. Weren't you told that my husband and I aren't doing interviews or photos? I am not my husband's keeper, nor his secretary. I'm his wife, even if that routinely slips his mind. Off the record, how quaint. My dear, what or who my husband is doing is hardly a secret. 
If you want access to the senator, follow the trail of drool until you reach the pretty little thing half his age. Check the auction hall. That's where I last saw his aide. Aide could be our ticket to a photo op with McKenna. Her name is Anne Johansson. Not my type, but I can see why she has the senator's The back of someone's head is not particularly used for identification. No one relevant to the mission. Case, over here. The back of someone's head is not particularly useful of identification. Time to use the mic on that camera of yours. Act like you're taking pictures. Over there, that's the senator's aide. She and her mystery friend seem to be having a very serious conversation. Audio is clean, maintain focus. I'm not worried about risk. I'm worried about the reward. We'll get his money. I'm telling you, his wife knows about me. We're leaving money on the tape. <sighs> Look, if we tell him about the tape tonight, he'll panic, pay anything. But if we don't make our move now, we won't get any money. Just trust me. Here, take the valet ticket. Go get the tape from the car. Blackmailing a senator with sex tapes? Can't beat the classics. The senator's aide, on Johansson. That'll give us some serious leverage on McKenna. Nab his valet ticket and get the keys to their car. Then grab the goods. Go. I'll keep an eye on the girl. Government Once you have the ticket, take it to the valet outside. We need to regulate public morals, and public morals vary by shape. I want that Hall of Fame, but how can I get it if I can't get it in the old fashion? I'm the Hall of Fashion. How controversial. Oh, you gotta pick your poison. I don't judge. How about another? Douglas. He's a lawyer based in the Baltimore area. We're in a recession. Ticket? Cold, cold night tonight. I wouldn't stay out there too long. Here you go, sir. You just need to find that car. Those keys have a fob on them. Maybe you can sound the horn.
Hey, what the hell are you doing in my car? Hey, a CIA security detail is headed your way. Lay low and get that tape to the senator's wife. Good luck with the retinal scan. Stepping out now for a wardrobe change. Livingston wants a word with you. Good luck with the retinal scan. Stepping out now for a wardrobe change. I'll pay off, will you? You again. Ugh. What now? No need to be so vulgar. I assume you're telling me for a reason. What is it you want from me? Yes, well... I'd rather not have our dirty laundry aired in anything so crass. I need to take care of some business. You keep Miss Johansson occupied until I arrive. After that, you hand over what you found, and I'll arrange your photo opportunity. Excuse me. I would never spend 60 grand on this thing. What? The senator isn't speaking to press tonight. And as of now, I'm off the clock. So go ruin someone else's evening. That idiot. How could he let this happen? Who? Who are you giving it to? You're going to report on this? You, you can't. What shit rag newspaper are you with? Is it the Telegraph? The Inquirer? The, the fucking Post? Oh, it isn't a newspaper, Miss Johansson. It's me. Miriam. Please, I was never going to actually release that video. It was just a scam to earn a little extra money. It's nothing personal. Everything is personal in politics. Do you think I don't know what goes on under my own roof? I know how this looks, but I swear, I have nothing but respect for you and your husband. My husband, God bless his soul, is an idiot. But he gets votes. That makes him a useful idiot. You, on the other hand... Ah! <gasps> What the hell? <sighs> Miriam, please, don't. Don't do what, dear? Jason, I think Miss Johansson has had too much to drink. Please help her out. As for you, a deal's a deal. Okay, I'm here. What's this all about? I've cleaned up another of your messes, as usual. Unfortunately, you're in need of a new aide. Perhaps a nice young man this time. Could have handled it myself. I promised this reporter a photo, if you'd be so kind. A little closer. 
That's all, dear. Run along. Thank you for your investigative diligence. Please enjoy the rest of your evening. And feel free to put your drinks on my husband's tab. Scan is good. Nice work, Ace. Time to get to the roof. That's how we'll reach Adler. I marked the roof sterile on your map. Take a look. The mechanical room on the roof is your access point to the restricted elevator shaft. It will take you all the way down to the black site. Pardon, sir. This area is for authorized personnel only. Uh, no pictures, please. The back of someone's head is not particularly useful for identification. Case, you're coming with us. The roof. That's how we'll reach Adler. I marked the roof sterile on your map. Take a look. The mechanical room on the roof is your access point to the restricted elevator shaft. It will take you all the way down to the black site. There's some rental cops on the roof, just doing their job, so stay clear of them. Marshall and I will meet you in the mechanical room. Once you're on the roof, look for a fixed ladder. Hmm. 
Keep low and stick to the shadows. We're almost there. Inside the mechanical room, you see a wall-mounted hatch. That's the elevator shaft. Slowly. Got a 1014 and R1. Requesting backup. 104. Hey, that's close enough. Don't take another step. Do we have a problem here? I, sir, I, I just found. Why don't you just let us know? <laughs> that's one hell of a hit. Not taking any chances. 1023. Backup's on the way. 1022 that. It's taken care of. Copy that. The bag's for you, Case. You're underdressed. 